Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to basically do what one of these bots can do that I've made, which would be, you know, basically making a URL and attaching a little word at the end, like Dawn, so we'll go ahead and I will make the nation states nation states one again. Now I want you to remember that when you are making this it's not going to be as easy as it might seem. So <coughs> at this point what you'd want to do is we'll go ahead and go with test and it'll be a normal command and uh, we'll go ahead and make it server. Now if you were to do owner or DMs only or one of these it would only message this particular thing. I've, I haven't tried owner but I've tried DMs and server only. Now we'll go ahead and you know make some parameters because that's that's what this actually takes is a lot of parameters in this. So if I can remember. So we'll go with parameter one, we'll call it test one. And now depending on how many parameters you want people to be able to use, we'll clone that whoops. We'll <laughs> I accidentally deleted that, so and this might be some practice for other people. Alright, so parameter one, test one, and we'll go ahead and clone this action. Mm, I want to say you know, three times. Now, mind you, this is not going to give you with with with, with what this particular this particular tutorial is going to do is I'm going to build the like I said build the nation states uh, nation states uh, thing again. So that's that was. Once I figured out how to do, once I figured out how to do this, it was, oh, this is really cool. Now, if I can remember correctly, so what we want to do is, we want to, and if I can remember correctly, we'll check parameters. Now, we want to keep this here. It equals, and then we go with number one, and then if it continues. Know, continue the action, you want it to, to continue the action with this parameter, then if false, you want it to skip, not jump to, skip, and we'll say we'll have it skip two actions. Now, again, the nation states thing, and I already know what the space is, some websites actually have a different space, you'll have to make sure to check that when you do so. With this, we want to say this, you know, the we want to put in our URL, then we want to insert temp variable, test1, and then create this. Now, and then we add a new action, and we want it to actually end action sequence. Now this might seem, well that's that's a little weird, but again, and then it's just a simple matter of cloning these. And since I know, okay, since I know how this works, and it doesn't want to work with me right now, so since I know how this works, it just is a matter of copy cloning, then putting in the underscore for nation states because that's how nation states works and adding these as you go along. Now, I'm going to make things really simple for me. Well, actually, no, it's not going to be really simple. Alright, so we go ahead, clone this again. Clone this one. And then continue cloning until you've filled out all of your parameters. Now, when you check, when, when you clone your check parameters, you want to make sure that each 
parameter is mentioned. So for the first one, it's check one parameter. If that's not the case, skip to the next one. And the same with this one and this one. And finally, with this, we'll go ahead and finish this up. Oh, that's that's not what I wanted. But we'll go ahead and finish this up. And two, three, four, five. And let's see here. Check parameter again. Be sure that your end of the URL that you're wanting it to check is, of course, either the underscore or you know, depending on depending on everything. Uh, it could be percent twenty, it could be, you know, any number of things that that make this what it is. So of course I'm just I was going to be lazy here. I accidentally pressed control C um, which is is the buttons for cop copying. Alright, so And then we'll go ahead and do the underscore, whoops, do the underscore yet again. And we'll enter in our parameter of four. So um, I tried it with variable parameters that didn't seem to have worked very well. Um, and actually kind of messed things up, not the way I wanted it to. So with test four, and then finally we have test, test five. So insert temp variable test 5 in action we'll go ahead and clone and then we change this well of course we have to change this to number 5 and then we change this to number oh right this is actually number 4 change that to number 4 change this to number Five, and then we change this one because this one has to. We go ahead and and continue to where we go ahead and uh, skip one of the actions because. Oh wait, no. I think we'll just go ahead and skip two of the actions. I think that's how I had it set up. Now, yes, there is twenty actions that it takes, but with each action that it has. If it doesn't fit that particular parameter, it goes on to the next, and so on and so forth. So, with that in mind, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and run this project. So, if I did this correctly, which I do believe I did, uh, you just pr type in test, and I'll go ahead and type in this and it didn't cor work correctly. So, I did something wrong. What was it? One parameter. Check. If conditions equal this, then if conditions equal this, then if conditions equal this, so on, so forth. Okay, I think Oh. Hmm. Continue actions. So let's see this. Alright, so I've got this on this right here. So we'll save the current project and see how this works. So again, test. Oh, that's correct. Right, test. Nylee. Nylee. Biff. That should be it. There you go. So we've got that. Now let's. I think I did this, I think I accidentally changed it without needing to. Go ahead, skip to edit actions. Okay, file, save, project. Alright, so go ahead, test, 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 test. This should work correctly. So we have this bringing up the URL. Now, mind you, it's not going to fact check your, your URL. It's not going to make sure that your URL exists. If I'm correct, this isn't a real nation in nation state, so yes. So as you can see, since it's not a real nation in nation states, obviously 
you know, it's going to come up with nation not found. So you will have to make sure that when you use this particular parameter, use this command, that you that you correctly correctly put puts in the information. So test nily biff and since I know oh right. <laughs> test nily biff and since I know this is actually a nation I just made this is what it would show up as for the website that I have actually taken this for. So it'll bring up this and everything. Now again, you know, if if you wanted to and nation states has regions, obviously if you wanted to make sure that it showed up with with the region instead of nation, you would have to actually type this, you know, copy this and put region here instead of course region doesn't exist but um, you would actually have to copy have this part right here um, and you know like any website that's that you would use obviously it would be a thing of making sure that you have your spaces correctly um, uh, as as a great example, um, I've got Elry and Vicky here, who happen to be the bots that I am working on on the side. Uh, there's a website that I actually go to um, uh, called Flist, which um, I actually have to fix this this particular part of the bot at some point. Hopefully, I'm hoping that it comes out where you can actually tag something as not safe for work. But in the meantime. I can type in F list and then test, 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 and it will come up with, and as you can see, it's got, <laughs> it's got the percentages between each word. Of course, this happens to be somebody's character, but um, not that it really particularly matters, but again, test, 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 and you have the spaces. I had to put this percent 20 into the spaces of the of the whoops I lost my thing uh, of the of the thing so if I were to have actually made this according to the F list thing it would be it would be just as so with the percentages between the, the percentage 20 between each word due to the fact that F list uses percent 20. So when you are making this sort of of a uh, of, uh, parameter check on your on your uh, bot, you will have to make sure that the spaces are accounted for um, in any way, shape, or form. So for this, again, the percent 20 for the for the nation states it's the underscore for other websites it's varying degrees of of things like i've seen some websites that have the dash that that sign right there um using it as their space anyways i hope this has helped you in some way um make sure that you can you know even if it's just even if it's not 100% accurate, at least it's a way to fetch websites. That way you don't have to type in the full URL or have to copy-paste. It's just, okay, well, type it in. I don't feel like opening the web browser or I'm on my phone. I can just simply put this information in for my bot. It makes it so that it's easier for this particular website. Um, so, you know, it's the you know multiple parameters don't use you know definitely do not use the multiple parameter thing right here um, that does not work for this particular build it's it's I've tried it and it causes an issue where you'll end up getting something like uh, uh, Nile biff underscore and it doesn't it doesn't give you the website obviously so be sure that that you put in multiple parameters depending on on what sort of what sort of website you're accessing how many characters are allowed at the end of the URL um, and and that sort of information anyways so I hope this was informative I hope you guys have a great day
and this is this is my Discord bot d tutorial on how to uh, basically build a website fetcher. So have a good one, guys.